Welcome to Monday on the Mat. My name is Liza and this is Poppy. Today we're going to focus on added resistance to some traditional Pilates mat work. I'll give you some recommendations along the way for things that you can do without the added resistance. Um, if you have any sort of elbow, wrist, shoulder issues uh, as well, listen to your body. You can make things a little bit more accommodating by not using the weight and also by shortening your range of motion. I'll give you a little guidance along the way, but let's get started. So we're actually gonna begin seated, facing the side of the room, and we'll start here with a nice big breath in, sitting tall, exhaling, and scooping the belly. Traditional C curve, inhale, lengthen up. We're gonna add a little movement of the foot. We're flexing back, hand, reaching the toes down, exhale, round it back, inhale, lengthen, let the arms reach out, lift, if that's available to you, you could always hang on to those thighs if you wish, we're going to do this just one more time, hold this one back, and right from here, we're going to let one arm raise up, and reach it forward, then the other arm reaches up, and as you do this, you'll notice if maybe that is not agreeable to your shoulder, a couple of things we can do instead, Widen the arms a little bit out to the side edges of the mat. It makes a little more space in that shoulder joint. Or maybe you just take it up to your pain-free range of motion. Okay? We're going to go one more time and come all the way up. Right from here, we'll lift those feet off of the floor. Finding the balance, this can be your exercise. You don't need to roll back. I'm going to need a little more space. We roll back to the shoulders. Roll up, recover the balance. Roll back to the shoulders. Roll up, recover the balance. Legs can be together or apart. We're gonna go one more time. And then from here, we'll just sit in that nice tall position. And what I'd like to do is have you take a moment to grab those hand weights. I've got three pounds here, and I don't recommend much more than that, okay? So we're going to sit in a nice tall position. And we'll do that same C curve, but we'll add a little hug a tree. So the arms are rounded like you're hugging a tree. We're gonna scoop the belly back. And we're gonna open the arms, keep them in your peripheral line of sight. We exhale, round and reach. We inhale, lengthen and extend. Exhale, roll behind those sit bones. Inhale, sit right up on top of them. Adding the flex and the point of the foot, if you can integrate that. So a little ankle mobility here. We've got two more. One more, we're gonna hold it right here. You're back in that C curve, the weight is forward. It's actually providing you a little counterbalance. We're gonna widen it to just outside of those thighs. And we'll reach one arm, then the other arm. Just as high as you comfortably can. If that's not available to you, hands come without the weight or widen like I demonstrated earlier. And if you're feeling extra spunky, well, here we go. We're gonna take both arms up and down. Up, and they stay forward of your head, but you will feel as the arms go up towards the ceiling with or without weight, it increases the load on the abdominal muscles. We're gonna go two more. And one more. Good, and right from here, let's place those weights down to the side. Bring this, the body forward so you can roll all the way down onto the mat. And just relax. Quick stretch. Arms open wide, palms are up towards the ceiling. If your back is pulling away from the floor, by all means, bring those knees to a bent position, feet flat. If you cannot get the forearms and the backs of the hands on the floor, open those arms out to the sides. So you feel a little bit more comfortable, but still getting a little openness through the peripheral wall. We'll pick up those weights again. We're gonna turn our fingertips towards the ceiling with the palms facing ourselves. Now, if lifting your head from the mat is not an option because it bothers your neck, then I'm going to tell you to just bring the weight to about the sides of the thighs and back up. So fingertips go to the sky. It could be knuckles if your fists are close. And we're keeping that forearm fairly close to the mat if not right on top of it. But if you have it in you, we're gonna go ahead and exhale, roll the chin to the chest, come up high enough to look at the thighs and reach out towards them. Reach all the way back. 
back hip. Exhale, round and reach. Inhale, roll back, return. Exhale, round and reach. Inhale, roll back, return. We'll do this just a couple more times. And then we'll hold it right here. We're going to pump the arms in the 100 arm position. Breathing in for five, breathing out for five. Now you can keep your feet on the floor just like I was demonstrating. You can walk your feet a little farther out. That's an option. You can bring your legs to a tabletop position. That's an option. You can externally rotate and reach out into your 100 and that's an option. No matter which one you choose, your elbows are a little bit soft, your shoulders are away from your ears, your breathing is constant, and the pulse is controlled. Last two, breathing in and out, and in and out, relax. If your legs were up, the knees will fold right into the chest. If your legs were not up, if your feet are still on the floor, then go ahead and take uh, a moment to just relax there. And we will, those of us with our feet in the air, walk them down to the mat. All right, so we're gonna bring those arms up. Bend the elbows, let your forearms be parallel to floor and ceiling. Now, if we were sitting up, we would call this shape the back of the head. That was what Joseph Pilates called a tricep extension. But we are going to call it a tricep extension, or you could say shape the crown of your head. Either way, I think you'd like to keep your hair. So <laughs> just focus on letting the elbows bend so they, again, are parallel to the floor and ceiling. If you go farther back, it's okay, except for two things you need to be mindful of. Rib cage popping up away from the mat and elbow flexion. So if the elbows are painful, don't go quite so deep. Definitely control the descent. And we're gonna to start to march, alternating marches. Exhale, abs tighten down, and the leg lifts as the arms extend. We're going to do this march. We do these marches a lot in Pilates because knee folds, whatever you're used to calling them, it allows you to really engage the core and feel it working to lift those heavy bones and muscles in the legs. We're gonna go one more time, hold whatever leg is up. Reach those arms down, roll the head and shoulders up, stretch the other leg, back to that hug a tree arm position, and we switch, switch, switch. Breathing in, breathing out. Tapping the fingertips towards one another underneath the thigh for eight, and seven, and six, and five, four, three, two, one, and release knees into the chest. I'm hugging my uh, legs with my forearms so I don't whack myself with my dumbbells because that's the kind of person you're dealing with here. All right, so we're going to take those arms, reach them back, keep the rib cage down, widen the arms like you're making the Y in the YMCA dance. This is one that's really challenging for the shoulders, so I do encourage you. Oh, did I get your tail? Well, you're in my space. I do encourage you to use no weight if that feels like a better choice to you. We're going to go ahead and take a full circle of the arms kind of towards the thighs, okay? It can even sneak underneath a little bit if you're feeling like you want to do that. We're going to reach the arms like you're making the Y in the YMCA dance with or without your dumbbells. Circular motion, nice and slow. As the arms go, the legs also go. This is really dynamic and challenging for your core, so you have to make absolutely certain that you're not feeling the strain at the back of the waist. You can stretch your legs a little less, possibly a little higher. And then of course we add the head and shoulders. So here's the full deal. We're gonna go breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Now, I am tapping my shoulders down and keeping my eye focused towards my knees and my feet, but I could Come all the way back, take a moment of pause in the neck and shoulders. Just watch out for this. When you lift up like this, there's a lot of strain on my neck, throat, and the back of the neck. So that little chin tuck makes a huge difference in how you're perceiving this on your neck and shoulders. Here's that last one. Good. From here, I'm going to relax. Now, I'm going to have you bring your hands all the way down. Your knees, ideally, at the tabletop position, okay? 
From here, we're going to go in the opposite direction. We reach one set of toes to the mat, exhale up. So it's that same knee fold or marching movement, just in reverse. Now we're gonna bring the arms up and bring the arms down. Bring the arms up and the arms are going up and the leg is going down. If you feel like you wanna challenge yourself a bit more, take those arms slightly farther back than shoulder level. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling and exhaling. Good, we've got just one more. Putting the weights down on the mat, rolling this head and shoulders up. Here we are in a seated position. Again, so we started here, we're gonna take a little detour just for a moment. We wanna bring our forearms parallel to the floor and ceiling. We're gonna pull back into that C curve, stop when those weights are right by those hip joints, and then bring them up to about eye level. So we scoop it back and we lift it up. We scoop it back and we lift it up. So today you're getting a little bit more bicep, tricep, and shoulder work in this weighted Pilates mat uh, class. Last three. And two, you could add your flex and point if that were something that you wanted to throw in there. And then we're gonna stay right here and pulse those arms, lift, lift. Sitting tall, right up on those sit bones, walk the legs out a little farther if your hips are over flexed. Bring the legs in a little further if you're feeling like you can't sit tall. Let's go ahead and take this into a little side work, okay? Oh, hi. She's very helpful today. So I'm on my forearm, and this does not work for everybody, so it's certainly fine to lie all the way down on your pug, or you could put your arm underneath your head, okay? So right from there, the weight is in front of me. I'm gonna slowly lift it up and bring it right back down. Now, as I'm lifting it up and down, I'm making absolutely certain that that weight is right over my rib cage and that I'm not letting it get behind me, straining the shoulder or the pectoral wall. I'm gonna to start to lengthen out that top leg just towards the end of the mat, just reaching it out. Good. This, of course, without the weight, all the way down. But if you're feeling spunky, let's go ahead and take it into a side plank variation. Last two, last one. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take a quick mermaid stretch. And I often tell you, and probably always tell you, but just in case I don't, don't always, you can widen out your mermaid and actually bring that outside leg out. That position doesn't work on everyone's knees. So figure out what you need and go ahead and take it. We'll bring ourselves all the way around to the other side. And let's, let's just see if I can work around the pug. Because, you know, she's chewing her bone and it's more important. All right. <laughs> so we're going to make sure that we've got the right alignment with the weight. Right positioning, using the breath, exhaling, drawing that belly flush in. Maybe extending that leg. Oh, good. You're getting a little more space. And then if you feel it, go ahead and bring it all the way up and down. Up and down. Lift and one last time. Lift and lower. Finding your version of the mermaid stretch. She's been really into sharing her chew toys with me. All right, from here, we're gonna swing those legs around and come onto our knees. Now this position doesn't work for everyone either. So I do encourage you to try a pillow and see if that added height makes your knees a little more happy. Do make sure those knees are straight forward, okay? Or you could be all the way in a kneeling position and you can just stay right there in that kneeling position. We're gonna move from uh, resting on the heels to reaching up 
Weight is at eye level. We sink back. This is the genie movement, but we're changing the arm work a little bit. We're reaching it up. Good. We've got two more. One more on the next one. We'll stay up. Good. And we'll bring those arms a little bit in and down to about parallel to the floor. You know, serve. The arms are serving like there's a plate or a platter on your hands and you're reaching it out. But while you're serving with your arms, you're doing thigh stretch with your body. Reach it out. Draw it in. Reach it out. Draw it in. Three more, please. And two more. And one more. And right from here, we're going to take those weights down. And we'll take one leg forward. Okay? I'm going to have the opposite hand from foot just resting on the mat. And if you can, slide that back leg a little farther back. Whole front foot is on the mat. I'm going to open up to a little side reach, really feeling a nice stretch on the chest and the shoulder. Bring your arm down a little bit if it doesn't feel good, or even hand on thigh, just rotating. Thigh stays forward, so does the knee. So if you find yourself rolling out to your pinky toes on that extended leg, bring it back underneath yourself. And then we're going to take the hand, bring that leg back, we'll go right over to the other side. Get yourself set up, opposite hand from foot, Shoulders down, leg back, open it up. Good. Remember the options can be here, keeping that leg in line. Yeah, you can bring the arm down a little bit, which helps you drop your shoulder if it's up here. Good. I'm going to bring the hand inside, sink back, take a quick stretch. Again, if this does not work for you, you could just come up a little bit into sort of a half child's pose meets cat pose. Good, and then we're just gonna sit comfortably and take a quick stretch for the forearms and the shoulder and the tricep. Normally we'd hold these stretches about 20 to 30 seconds apiece, but I'm going to go through them pretty quickly so we can finish up and you can do them on your own. So there's the forearm, shoulders down, shoulder, and when you go into this shoulder stretch, you can be here or you can be here. Just work on what feels good to you. Again, shoulders down. And this stretch can be done here or here. And you'll know this one's not a good choice for you if you can't continue to look forward. If you're here, you want to bring it down to this. Good. We're going to take a couple of shoulder shrugs and just a nice big breath in. And as you exhale, just say, ah. Fantastic work. I'll see you next Monday here on the mat.